Good evening. This is CTV News. I'm Patricia Vallone. And I'm Denise Thackless. Glad that you could join us this evening. The recent sex abuse allegations and the, uh, and the Head Start controversy have put the Prince George's County school system on the hot seat. Today's school CEO, Dr. Kevin Maxwell, along with the chair and vice chair of the school board, were grilled by members of the county council during a special hearing. They are concerned about the reported incidents of child abuse at Judge Sylvania Woods Elementary School. More recently, a special education child at James Ryder Randall Elementary was allegedly molested. In addition, the district has lost a $6 million grant for its Head Start program because of accusations that teachers harshly punish children. Council member Karen Tolles and others say that this is unacceptable and demand action from education leaders. Question is, as someone who is a long-term resident, as someone who have gone through the school system, um, and I don't remember having these problems. I think I had one of my classmates who I went to high school with in the audience, um, and she can probably tell you, we don't, I don't remember this many problems. Why is it so many problems now? And what are the people that elected by the people on the school board in Prince George's County going to do about it? What are the people that are appointed going to do about the culture? I haven't heard anything about what you are going to do to change the culture. Changing policies and procedures which is the formal work of the Board of Education, uh, is relatively easy. Changing people uh, and their behaviors, their attitudes, and their beliefs uh, is incredibly hard and complicated work, and so I'm not going to sit in and begin uh, to tell you that I have a very specific master plan for how to do that, other than the fact that our elected officials at every level of governance our business community, our parent community, our unions, our administration, and our board uh, need to figure out ways in which we can come together both publicly and through, and, through, and through a specific set of planning meetings to begin to talk about what are the cultural challenges are, how do we begin to communicate throughout our system to create changes. Dr. Maxwell says that a number of steps have been taken to prevent similar problems in the future. He says all staff have been retrained and that procedures for reporting incidents of child abuse have changed. I was there at that hearing and I can tell you, as you can see there with uh, Ms. Tolls, things got pretty heated. I, I, I could see that it did. How has the reporting procedure actually changed? Though? Well, before um, people, teachers, whoever, suspected uh, any sort of abuse would go to the principal and then it would be the principal's job to take it up the chain but now what they're saying is that anyone who suspects any sort of abuse go directly to child protective services well, it's a much quicker reaction than all right thank you denise mm -hmm. authorities have now arrested a man they say may be responsible for a bombing in new york city on sunday and explosive devices found in new jersey 28 year old ahmad khan rahami was taken into custody after a shootout with police this afternoon rahami was shot along with two officers 29 people were injured in the bombing in chelsea now police also found a backpack full of pipe, uh, pipe bombs in elizabeth new jersey President Obama spoke with the media earlier today and asked everyone to remain vigilant. Together seamlessly as one team to get to the bottom of what happened, to find those responsible and to make sure that justice is done. Meanwhile, while all this is going on in New York and New Jersey, we're also focused on the stabbing attack at the shopping mall in Minnesota. Uh, at this point, we see no connection between that incident and what happened here in New York and New Jersey. Now, Rahami was born in Afghanistan and is a naturalized citizen. Police are also questioning five other people in connection with that attack. Meantime, Amtrak riders experienced delays all over the Northeast Corridor today. This after service was completely suspended around affected areas in New Jersey. There were three early morning train delays at the New Carrollton station, but by midday, everything was back to normal. You're a tourist. Where are you yeah. coming from? From Nigeria. So I saw it in the news yesterday, and then I'm feeling like, uh, well, what's going on? But I know the American governments are providing enough security for everybody. So I'm feeling safe. What happens, happens. Meantime, security was heightened at Union Station today. Canines were also brought in to sniff bags. And you're watching CTV News. I'm Patricia Vallone. And I'm Denise Douglas.